Of course, it remains inconspicuous in the shadow of such aftermarket bestsellers as the Ford Focus, Mazda 3, Mitsubishi Lancer or, say, the Chevrolet Lacetti. However, the old Hyundai Elantra has many positive qualities that are highly appreciated by dedicated users. Firstly, the car is noticeably cheaper than its competitors. Secondly, it is inexpensive to maintain and repair. Thirdly, you can fix it in almost any, even non-specialized service. And again, for a penny, the third generation Elantra was produced as a sedan and hatchback. There was no station wagon in the line of this generation. Four cylinder engines of 1.6 liters, 105 horsepower, 1.8 liters, 132 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 141 horsepower, were installed on the car. On the Ukrainian market, there are occasionally versions with a 2 liter turbo diesel, 112 horsepower, although such cars have never been officially delivered to us. After restyling in 2003, the 1.8 liter engine disappeared from the engine line of European versions. Transmission is a 5 speed manual and a 4 speed automatic. Our market is dominated by dealer options. There are also cars from Europe. The interior of the Hyundai Elantra is unpretentious, although quite nice. The finish is dominated by cheap, hard plastic, but the workmanship is decent. There are no serious claims to ergonomics. True, the inconvenience is delivered by a highly located clutch pedal. The front seats are quite narrow, the pillow is a bit short, but the interior is spacious enough even for five. Hyundai Elantra was officially sold in Ukraine in both body modifications, sedan and five-door hatchback, but only with one 1.6-liter petrol engine, 105 horsepower. The initial equipment of the GL included frontal airbags, power steering, a height-adjustable steering column, air conditioning and electric windows for all windows. The GLS version added ABS, heated front seats, electric drive and heated side mirrors. The top version of the Elantra 1.6 also had climate control, fog lights, alloy wheels and a leather-trimmed steering wheel. Usually in this version the car came with a gun. Moreover, on the secondary you can pick up a car in any equipment, from the basic one with the minimum possible set of equipment to the most sophisticated version with a gun, xenon headlights and an air conditioner. The trunk of the sedan is not distinguished by its spaciousness and ease of loading, its volume is only 415 liters. A hatchback is much more practical, folding the rear seats of which you can increase the loading space up to 800 liters. Buying a used car is always associated with a certain risk, which for the new owner can turn into an unplanned investment. Hyundai Elantra is no exception. The car as a whole is reliable and unpretentious, but when selling, the owner, as a rule, tries to hide its sore spots. Therefore, in order not to fall for this bait, it is better not to stint on a complete diagnosis in a specialized service. Moreover, at about such an advanced age, many diseases become aggravated in the Korean. Elantra engines are durable and unpretentious. An important advantage for the Ukrainian consumer should be recognized as their ability to work on 92-octane gasoline. It must be of the appropriate quality, otherwise problems cannot be avoided. You will have to change candles, high voltage wires and ignition coils more often, as well as various electronic components and sensors, the latter are sometimes quite expensive. Regardless of the quality of the fuel used, you will have to clean the throttle assembly. And it is not always necessary to contact an expensive service. Private craftsmen who are familiar with this model can literally perform this operation for a penny using a special liquid and, a toothbrush, as cleaning equipment. When purchasing a used Hyundai Elantra, the first step is to replace the timing belt with rollers to avoid a possible break. According to Hyundai regulations, this operation on this model is carried out every 60,000 kilometers. Periodically check the oil level, on some instances, its consumption can reach 500 grams for every 1,000 kilometers of run. From exposure to chemicals, the lower radiator tank is often destroyed, which changes as an assembly. It is enough for a maximum of 4 to 5 years. Every 50,000 to 60,000 kilometers of run in the car the beast wakes up, announcing the surroundings with a sports exhaust. This burns out the muffler and take corrugation. If acceleration is accompanied by strong vibrations of the front of the car, then it's time to change the rear, the most loaded engine mount. This usually happens at a run of 100,000 km, approximately the same as the clutch mechanism. The manual box will require minor repairs, replacement of the arm bushings, closer to 150,000 km. Automatic transmission lives up to 200,000 km. After that, it is required to replace the clutch package torque converter and other consumables. In a fully independent suspension, stabilizer struts and bushings often fail. The replacement is literally cheap. 
The main parts, except for the wheel bearings of the suspension, serve for a long time. The rear shock absorbers stably nurse 80,000 km. Ball bearings hold up to 80,000 km. The 1.6 liter engine, 105 horsepower, is an order of magnitude more common than other engines found under the hood of a used Elantra. The unit is reliable, but the first thing after buying a car is to replace the alternator belt, timing belt with rollers and pump, as well as filters. It runs on 92 gasoline, but always of high quality. The manual is durable, but by 150,000 km, an inexpensive repair of the lever wings will be required. CV joints are changed at the same time. The machine, as a rule, wears out by 200,000 km. In front suspension with McPherson struts, stabilizer struts and bushings are considered consumables. The remaining elements of the chassis withstand the average service life. They are inexpensive. There are no particular problems in the rear suspension with McPherson struts. The first here are the racks and bushings of the anti-roll bar. Springs are weak, quickly sag under load. Shock absorbers often serve up to 100,000 km, although sometimes they can die much earlier. Like most Koreans, the Elantra's paintwork is not particularly durable. Chips quickly appear on the front of the case. The telescopic antenna only lasts for three years. Electrical equipment is quite reliable due to its simplicity, however, attachments of the engine often fail, a generator, a starter. Onboard electrics are buggy, light bulbs are on. 